welcome everyone to another Amplitude Studio stream. I'm Jordan, and I'm joined again by, by my long lies, my long lost sister Stephanie. <laughs> I, you, you say you're just apologizing who for getting me seen, in the meeting earlier. <laughs> who I haven't seen in so many weeks. Yes, I I am back from vacation and from recovering from COVID. If I'm maybe a little unclear talking today, that's because I'm still, you know, uh, having to take some cough drops now and then so I don't double over because long COVID is so fun. Yeah. But yeah, we are very excited because we did manage to wrangle our colleagues into allowing us to show off the update before it comes out. So we yes. have some, some exclusive sneak peeks today. We have not for the DLC, sadly, only for the update. But juicy, still. juicy tidbits. We 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 have juicy secrets in the form of the new stealth system. Yes, I am excited to see what happens here because I actually haven't gotten a, a, a around to playing with the new stealth yet. I've I've had some some struggles, but uh, yeah. but yeah, this oh, is going to be interesting. I see YouTube is asking about is there news on the console edition, and then. I need to ask, well, that depends on what the last thing you heard is. The last thing that, y that you heard is probably that the console edition got delayed, and unfortunately that is the yeah. last That's the latest thing that we, we have, can say. But, but um, you can, on, on your respective platform, go ahead and, and you know, request. Uh, I don't know if the refunds were automatic or if you needed to request it. Um, the resources but, but are being handled by the... But, but they're being handled by the platforms. Exactly, so, yeah. So if they so, weren't automatic, you need to contact your respective platform and not us. Yeah, I've gotten some DMs on the social media. If you have anybody asking you about it or whatever, just let them know that it's being handled by the platforms and not by us. Because... I guess that's the way that like it's, things technically work because yeah, we can't have your data. Technically, it's it's smoother because there's or something. you know data protection yeah. involved. We we can't like know specifically who's bought the game or pre-ordered it. So especially with, with refund it, refunds, it's especially sensitive because that potentially involves banking data, and we 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 want nothing to do with your banking data. I don't that wanna, is, I don't want to know data, your bank. That is data we do not want to handle. <laughs> Oh, but anyways, welcome in everybody, Sublustrous. Welcome in Arcalis, Robzig, Twad. Um, Raul, could you be more specific with your question over there on YouTube? The beta for what? Um double click. Uh we know. We know it was a typo. Well, we know now. We didn't know at the time. <laughs> I, it, I would have known, but I was on vacation. I'm sorry. Yeah, see, yeah. <laughs> Stephanie wasn't here. We were given uh, some stuff to post on the social media, and so we posted it, you know? I, I suppose we could do, it's like, just, more double-checking on our just, end. It's just on brand with the typo I did on the announcement post on Steam, <laughs> where, you know, I somehow managed to get the E in rule to behind the R. Raul! <laughs> <laughs> Together we Raul. Um, Raul. Uh, hello, Robzig. How you doing? You'll be remembered for it. I, I hope people forget it. I hope, I hope, I don't know. There's I, certain things that I hope people will remember. I, 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 I cannot forget it because every now and then we still get a comment on it because, you know, the DLC isn't out yet. Mm -hmm. And because the first comments I got on it were when the typo was still in the title, Steam doesn't update the listing in my notifications. So in the oh, notifications, no. it still shows me the typo and reminds me of my <laughs> failure. <laughs> Oh goodness, uh, Raúl. Yeah, um, we'll just have to sit tight on that one. Yes, we. There, there uh, may, there may or may not be chances to do things, but yeah, there, there might be an opportunity, but there might not. Um, it just kind of depends on a couple of things, so we yep. really can't speak. Well, to we, that. we still need to wait for confirmations on, from various people, but there's a lot hey, of teams involved in these exactly, sort of things. But hey, it's not you just know, us. Worst case. It's only about one week until the release. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, so close. You could almost throw a rock at it, so, hit it. Ragnarok, if, if you call us the dynamic duo, the important question is, which one of us is Robin and which one is Batman? Oh, is that the dynamic duo? Oh. Is that the iconic I, di di uh, dynamic well, duo? Well, yes, that's kind of the, the whole branding of Batman and Robin is the dynamic duo. I thought we, I thought we were Pinky in the Brain. Yeah, but they're not the dynamic duo. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that the dynamic duo was specifically Batman and Robin. 
I, I think that was very much an Adam West period kind of thing mm. where they had the very peculiar vi- vibe for Batman. <laughs> if you've ever seen, I've the never Ad- seen the old oh, ones. Oh, the the Adam. West. It's like when when they actually have the fights with the villains. They, it's like you know you see them throw the punch and then throws up. Like like a comic book sound effect, pow and bang. Oh, like, interesting. And it's like, mmm. It has a very specific vibe, the Adam vs. Batman. <laughs> 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 well, that answers that. <laughs> yeah, it so can't be the old Batman. It's great. And and actually, I think they actually got Adam West to voice like the the minifig you rescue in the Lego Batman movies. Hmm. Interesting. I've seen I've seen the Lego Batman movie, but I, I think I might have been too young for the other ones, and I haven't I mean, taken I mean, the time to I go mean, back. So so have I been, but I had a mother who fed me a steady diet of geek culture. Right, so. that makes sense. Yeah, my my parents are not <laughs> like I had the kind of mother who was like, oh yeah, let's watch Alien when I was like thirteen. <laughs> right. Yeah, my mom was like, let's watch Finding Nemo again. You know, uh, Finding Nemo is one of those those movies where it's like you know. When you, I've watched it so when, many when, times. When, when, when you describe the plot without making it cute, it it's actually terrifying. sounds so, sounds horrible because it's like, oh, this this man and this couple and, of and, 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 and and his handicapped friend are searching for his, his lost son, and it's like, <laughs> it, it sounds like so dramatic. His and, only son after the rest of them were brutally murdered yeah, before exactly. childbirth. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> and it's like. Yeah. yeah. But but as soon as you add and the clownfish <laughs> it suddenly feels a lot less silly. But also if if you add and the clownfish, then the question comes up, wait, so is it his dad or his mom? Because clownfish is a species where they change gender under uh, certain okay, yeah, yeah. circumstances. Well, actually I should say they change sex because they literally change their biological equipment. Right, interesting. Clownfish. What jokes? <laughs> oh goodness! Um, I can't. I don't know how to pronounce your name, good friend over there on YouTube. Um, but um, I think uh, but we're always going to be. I, I have a bit of trouble reading it at this distance, but I think it says Nikita. Nikita. All right, Nikita. If that's you, um, we're always going to be adding cultures into the game, and if you have suggestions for cultures that you'd like to see, you can always put it. Um, as a suggestion over on Games Together, game ideas, um, we're always listening. Yeah. Nice, there you go, you got it. Yeah, it's between, you know, the the light and the distance, and yeah. the light gray on dark gray that the chat has, it's... I can read Cyrillic, but I'm not good at it, so I struggle a bit at this distance. Fair enough, it's better than I could have done. Um, but yeah... So is that fair? We're not gonna tell. We're not gonna announce uh, what future culture packs are gonna be about until if, if until it's announced. If, if you we know? even knew, I mean, I do. I know about like the well, next two at least. I, I know some things, but I suspect that our game could, director could has ch- could change. I suspect our game director has plans that we don't know about. It's possible. They'll just have to wait and see. Or or maybe not plans, but ideas. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I know. Where's Rachel? Um, anyways, <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's hop Let, in let's there and get some the, get the, some gameplay going on. We can keep on chatting. Don't don't y'all worry about it. So yeah. we'll, we'll still so, be here. So we'll that, still be know, chatting. So that we actually have some uh, opponents to interact with. I I guess we'll stick with the one continent, six players, smallish map, and blitz speed, so we can actually show off some stuff because some of the. Do you want to make it slightly harder? We normally do Metropolis, and then we normally regret it, right? Yeah, but I think in this case, because we just want to get through it quickly okay. to show off the we features. We don't want to struggle we, too we don't, hard. Exactly, we don't want to struggle. We want to show off the features. So we need to make it to, as I was about to say, the reason we're using Blitz, we need to make it at least to Era 3, because that's when the stealth comes online. Heck yeah, we're just Blitz into Era 3. Um, yeah, the, the history stream uh, unfortunately had to be canceled uh, due to some issues that came up last minute. But the uh, forum that we had for asking questions on games together, um, Etienne, our historian, uh, has gone on and answered questions. At least that's that's the plan. Um, I haven't actually gone on and checked myself. Um, so also weighs upon your decisions. 
Uh, it's fine. I can keep spamming Indonesia and Mahajpit every time I, the topic comes Full up until it becomes irrelevant. <laughs> oh, so, hmm, you know, gotta love this on Blitzspeed. Pick that one thing. Ah, now I have three tribes. <laughs> split them. Let's go. Yeah, let, let's go Ooh, and explore. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. I do love deserts. What do we get from this one? Plus one influence on research quarter. Oh, oh uh, the influence on research quarter and the science on research quarter is gonna be real nice actually. We can focus a bit on, on research quarters for that. Also, speaking of research, of course, as always, I favor the astronomy bonus. <laughs> I see you favor the white lotus gambit. <laughs> <laughs> Not many cling to the old ways. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that feels like it could be like a Star Wars quote. You yeah, know? But, but honestly. <laughs> Uncle Iroh, best character in the whole best series. Best character, 100%. 100%. His workout montage gets me uh, uh, so uh, pumped. I, I cannot see like Jasmine T without immediately thinking of him. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Do we have a good place to <clears throat> find our first I'll be waiting podcast. for the announcement of Cultures of Asia. I hope they launch this idea. You have to see, Raul. Have to see. Uh, I wish there would be another expansion that focuses on naval... Warfare in Southeast Asia or Asian warfare and hoping for culture as the focus to affect other countries. Clean, a good ideas. Again, you're not getting anything out of me, <laughs> but th thank you for sharing regardless. Yeah. Uh, my favorite natural wonder. Oh, why is it your favorite arachnodork? I mean, probably because it's actually quite strong. It's like one of the stronger ones, in my opinion. Mm, okay. Um, Kamer, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're playing the Metternich. But also Metternich. A new vulnerability. Dang it, you say it again. Th th One more time. Th th there's no soft D in there. Metternich. Metternich. Of, of course. Nish. Not chat, niche. Chat, every, every German in chat, please excuse me. Uh, I have trouble quickly switching my accent sometimes when I've been speaking English a lot and then going to German. It sometimes takes me a couple of sentences to drop the English accent I suddenly have when speaking <laughs> German. Oh, okay. Oh wow! Oh wow! The the AI is really plowing ahead. They. But I but I guess you know one thing we should check Sonic. is um. It counts as it counts research, research quarter. quarter. Yeah, exactly. yeah, definitely, definitely Joe mm, it up. Maybe or maybe the Babylonians. Ooh. Depends on how many months we have. Babylonians. Babylonians. Do we have some mountains. What's up, Snuff King? So do we want Babylonians or? Egyptian uh, or or Joe? I actually really enjoyed the Babylonians when I played uh, personally. But I think I haven't played the Babylonians in a long time, so I'm leaning yeah, towards that. Yeah, let's level. get it. I forget what their uh, unit is. It, you know, it's a nice anti cavalry. Anti -cav, yeah. It's how does that compare to the um the Sumerian anti cav? I, I was about to say it's not as strong as the, the Sumerian, Sumerian one. one. <laughs> yeah. Dang it, I mean, power I, creep. Well, <laughs> well uh, the thing is, the way the Sumerian one works, an army of the Sumerian ones is definitely gonna be stronger. But, a but single... the individuals here defending a city tile might actually be stronger than a, the Sumerian ones. Right. So there's a, a there's case scenarios for uh, for both. Yes. Because the guardian bonus is is pretty strong. It's like plus four or plus six. Oh, good. So there were some answers about the cultures. Good, Arcalis. A city uh, and shelter for those who need it. A place to store food. Writing for your Pens book, for playing Destiny, waiting for the humankind expansion. Heck yeah, how's Destiny going, Axel? Under trees. Hmm, I, th I think we may need to disband some of these troops. Mm. <laughs> Minus four. Oops. Yeah, I mean... We'll get a little bit of money here in a second, won't we? From things? We can we, get like a bunch can, of luxuries. We though. can get to plus three, basically. But I still, I still think this is way more more people than we need. Yeah, that, you're probably right. Unless we want to like scout rush, do a little zerg rush on our neighbors. Yeah, then we should have picked the Harapans. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think they were already taken though. It's just plain good. The early science bonus is great. Nice. Way better than my French. Nadster. Nadster, where are you from? Still plan on finishing that ES2 story on games together. Heck yeah, Axel, do it. A German professor in uni said, to imagine the ich, itch, ish, ish, yes. sound as you make when you have a stuffy nose. 
Well, yeah. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sure that's necessarily a, a good description. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's, that feels like a flammable it, situation. Like in, in English, you probably would usually write it as an sh. Ish. Yeah. yeah. But also, sch in German is also that sound. Mm. But the ch in German mm. can also be a. <laughs> <laughs> Flem, A, C, Flem. <laughs> you've seen, you've seen the uh, Ahmed the Dead Terrorist uh, comedy sketch, right? Long, long ago. Okay. <laughs> My name is Jose the Jalapeno. <laughs> oh, good times. Well, we do have more, so let's start the I love Destiny's story and lore, but I need to balance stuff, otherwise I tend to overindulge. Yeah, I think that is the main issue with Destiny, is it's a, it's a bit of a time sink from Mainz near Frankfurt. Ah, well. I, I, I actually studied in Mainz. That makes sense. Mainz. Why was this Mainz. Even a Not yours, it's Mainz. Let's keep it simple. <laughs> we need it. It's our place. Hey, what's up, Jeff? That Jeff Carrier played this over 30 hours on Stadia using my using touch to on my phone yours. like a mobile game. Right. It was great. RIP Stadia. Seriously. Yeah, that 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 was very sudden. The way they were like, oh, by the way, it's shutting down. Like what? Like in January or something? I mean, there were some some like. I wouldn't say conspiracy theorists, but there were some people out there that were theorizing that they it was the signs. The yeah, signs no, I the mean, it's, it's definitely coming. the writing was on I, the I wouldn't wall. Or... It wasn't necessarily surprising, but still very sudden. Yeah, it was. It seemed sudden. It seemed like and and we're done. I I I hope that maybe Steam Deck can like pick up where they left off in some ways. Well, I mean, for for portability, Steam Deck apparently is is really great, and yeah. I, I've I've one of the the influencers I'm following on, on Twitter, she's been like playing the Horizon Zero Dawn and the new the uh, recently released Uncharted. Which one was it? Was it Legacy of Thieves? The one that recently came to Steam. I've never played Uncharted. Yeah, one of them recently released on PC, and she's been playing that, and and it's apparently running smooth. So the Steam Deck seems to be actually quite powerful. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's crazy. The type of games that it can play, honestly, it seems it, like it's. It's also, you know, it, it's especially crazy if you consider, compare that to the power of the PCs, which would with which we flew to the moon. No, oh, well, that's <laughs> fair. Yeah, we just no, we we just like. This has more power than the Apollo guidance computer. I could run like dozens of Apollo guidance computers <laughs> at once on this. Yeah. That makes sense. I think our rockets are a little safer, though. <laughs> uh, well, they... It's it's more like you know some of the stuff. If you if you look into the history of that, they they needed to do some very crazy stuff to get the stuff it working with the level of computing power that it was available at the time. Mm -hmm. And so so it it's amazing what they did, but also like just the sheer growth of raw power in our processors. Right. Since yeah. then, yeah, because no, it's, it's been it's what fifty years. Uh, can we, uh, let me catch up with chat. Uh, Nedster says, cool, my old Yogu University? Jogu? Yes, Johannes Gutenberg. That's ah. the name of the university. Nice. And I miss y'all. Been so busy of late. I wasn't able to catch streams. I had to go get some food, too, right now. No worries. No worries. As if anybody always take off, take days off when moving. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Definitely didn't do that last time. Uh, hey, what's up, Spoon? Welcome in, welcome in. By the way, before I go to go pick, get some pickup, have you considered implementing the drop avatars in the game as achievements so you don't have to re-enable them every stream? Um, hmm. I don't think that's been uh, considered necessarily. I think that that it's one of those moments that make you probably won't like happen. Uh, but it, maybe, maybe someday. I'm not sure. I think it's a good idea. But, oh, we're going to need the, uh, the, ah. the ban hammer. Just hide user on channel. Ah, there you go. The first one. Uh, the first of many, probably, yeah, today. Seriously. Like, oh, boy. Can we steal other Empire assets with espionage? Uh, you can... Well, depends on what, what your siphon. definition of... Depends on what the definition of asset is. Yeah. Like, you can... With the siphon, you can get, like, the resources... Mm -hmm, or yeah. you can uh, also steal some of the basic FIMS output, but you can't like 
be like, oh, I bribed this army, it's mine now. Because yeah. that was... Well, it's still in their territory. And, it, it, and especially since it would be like so super frustrating. <laughs> yeah, that'd be really annoying. Is it, ah, I'm here to conquer your city. Yoink. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some of the rockets are still the same. Oh, yeah, they... You can't beat a Vostok. Oh, yeah, the, the Vostok rocket and the... the, the um, like, the, the Soyuz cap capsules are like... Really, I mean, of course, they made iterative improvements on it, but it, mm. like the, the core of it is still the design quite old. Ah, there's there's another one might save you a lot of grief. Well, honestly, I don't have to do it, so I'm <laughs> fine. <laughs> I, just, some, some, I just tell Bo to do it. He somebody doesn't. else is suffering, so <laughs> I don't care, <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, anyways, go get your food and enjoy. Uh, every culture has a chance to show up on my side. I wish for a pack now, for North America one day. One generation learned can be I think the issue the with next. North America is Buy that uh, there's not a ton of uh, historical cultures from North America. I'm sure the indigenous people would disagree. Right, but but I mean, it's when more, I talked to Etienne, it's, he it's said more it, like, it was harder to actually yeah, make it's, these it's, cultures. It's more like you know we don't necessarily have good archaeological records. A lot yeah, of it not is, that they didn't exist. A lot of it is probably more like legends passed down by the indigenous people, as opposed to hey, we found this yeah. structure that we excavated. <laughs> oh goodness. What's up, Zane? Welcome in. Welcome in. How you doing today? I'll be fine. Norse Vikings, Burka Vikings, Danish Vikings, Icelandic Vikings. <laughs> All the Vikings. I, I mean, we did have, what, six different Swiss in the morning section? <laughs> People love the Swiss, apparently. I'm, I'm uh, pretty sure the martyr himself was Swiss. <laughs> that makes sense, yeah. Honestly... Are we playing with abundant resources? I I didn't check the settings. I, I don't know, but it looks pretty juicy. I, I, I think we are. You can Spoon, you can turn up the resources. I don't like having to fight over resources, personally. I feel like it's hard enough to fight over land and things as it is that, like, I don't want to have to fight over... Oh, shoot, I only have one horse, but I need two horses, and nobody will sell them to me. And I'm stuck here and I can't build my emblematic unit. That's and... where the new spice in Together We Rule come in. Oh, I don't want to fight over, uh, you know, having two horses. Oh, nice horse rank you have here. Would, would be, be a shame. Would, would be a shame if somebody... Uh, what, 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 some of the horses. What, what, what's, what's the phrase for, for stealing cattle? Oh, uh, wrestle. Yes. Wrestled. Yeah, it would be a shame if somebody wrestled, wrestled your, your ranches here. And, and, and you know, although I, I don't think the... The person you steal it from actually loses access to it, so that no, they, they don't they lose don't, it. Don't, don't. You just, you just but, but, also but get it. But it's still you suddenly show up with like cavalry, and the the other people are like, "How did you build these? You only have one horse, or do I? Or do I? <laughs> What's up, pigeon? Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, okay. The Roos Vikings, f yeah, Skyrim Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's lots of types of Vikings, it's, it's and if. You'd have or, 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 of course, the Space Vikings. I was going to say, Netflix would have you believe that there's actually anime Vikings, too. I mean, there's there's definitely two different kinds of Space Vikings in, mm. in games fiction. You know, we have the Walters, our Space Vikings. Yeah, the Vi yeah. And for the people who, you know, I know there's people in our viewers who know the, the Warhammer universe. There's, in Warhammer 40k, the space, the space Wolves, which are so Viking it hurts. Yeah, no, I get that. Like, they're, uh, they're, they're so Viking, they... They invented a new poison because they couldn't get drunk of normal mead. Oh, no. <laughs> and mead is already supposed to be like the alcohol of the gods or something. Um, no, Andy, South American culture is crying in the corner for lack of data. Uh, it's tough. I, I mean, talking to Etienne, our, his, our historical referent, I mean, he's just, uh, you know, he's dealing with what databases have, you know? He can't. He can't always travel the world and talk to people, you know, who had ancestors or, or you know, whatever. Like, like getting the data is really tough to make it rich and vibrant enough for actually having a culture in humankind, you know. Oh yeah, get those luxuries. Uh, horse, <laughs> horse siphoning was a devious tactic throughout history. <laughs> 
Um, Pigeon, when is Humankind on Xbox? Uh, we don't have a date right now, Pigeon. But I will say, of all the consoles, it feels like Xbox might be the most, like, you know, uh, like Xbox is really into having Humankind on it, what with the Game Pass and all. Yeah, but I, I don't know what I, that means. Unfortunately, I don't think that makes the port any easier. <laughs> I don't, yeah, obviously making it doesn't, uh, but you know what I mean, like. Hey, hey, we got a new follower. We got DeMarco883. Welcome, uh, officially welcome into the Amplitude Studios community. How you doing today? <laughs> Thank you very much for, for joining the community. Thank Many you. resources is fun, but not for all games. Sometimes you need to struggle. <laughs> We've got a masochist over here. <laughs> You pre-order the expansion, nice gamer. Get that ten percent off, which, uh, which, yeah, it's it's coming. It's coming so soon. Honestly, time has flown. It's it, it felt like just yesterday that we were like a month away. Yeah, I was about to say it felt like just yesterday that I started my vacation, and then it was suddenly over, and it's like, yeah. where did my vacation go? What did? Oh, right, being sick. <laughs> What did you get up to on your vacation, other than wailing and gnashing of teeth? Just, just you know, watching some stuff on Netflix, doing some miniature painting, playing some games, because I, with with the coughing attacks I still had after COVID, I wasn't comfortable going out. Yeah, that'd be tough. I get that. Like, I knew I wasn't infectious <laughs> anymore because I did tests, but it's still, you know, if during this time and you suddenly well, double over in, in, in a shop or whatever, coughing your lungs up, People will be looking. People are going to be scattering. Yeah. I, I was on the train yesterday and uh, flipping the guy that was sitting right next to me. Every like five minutes would just go. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, <laughs> like really like random coughs, me? like really random coughs. And I was like, I don't want to be next to this guy. Like, why did you sit down next to me, bro? <laughs> uh had to be me. Um, I need the expansion to improve my mood after the election season. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hopefully it does. <laughs> we're looking forward to it. Looking forward to the new update. I'm from Brazil. Heck yeah, DeMarco. Well, we're playing with the Metternich, Metternich update uh, today. So we're going to we're going to see some of the the uh, the changes here. Yep. Mostly I'm trying to, playing, you know, sit tight. get far, play fast enough that some independent people spawn so we can show the interactions there. And also... It's actually quite cool. Oh, I like oh, it a lot I better. see a gray border. There's some independent people over here. Excellent. Are you looking oh, at no, something there are I don't ones. see? Oh, the little dash border. I was yep. like, I was looking at the very edge of what's gray and I was like, I No, it's see. like here. Yeah, right and, there. And, you know, <laughs> here, here's... Oh, hmm, hopefully they'll, you know, take care of these guys for us. But yeah, I, I'm looking for a second spot to, to put may, maybe down here so we can grab the other one. It's not one of the greatest, but mm -hmm. it's still, you know, nice to have some extra money in science. Wait, is that more science as well, yeah? On si but, yeah, oh, but city. It's, it's only five science. But but right now, given we're still very early game. I mean, um, we're pumping out science though, aren't we? Yeah, and you know, right now. 33 is pretty good. 33 is pretty good, but five is still quite a bit. We should at this rush point. the philosophy so that we can get a couple of science quarters out and just like blast. These already count as science quarters for us. Oh right, they do. But yeah, I'm. Good point. I'm gonna point, send these point, guys down here, as well, to do some more claiming down here, and I think we'll do like one city here, one city there, for now, and then we'll show off the interactions with the independent with the independent people. Yes. The minor civilizations. Uh, Canadian bacon. <sighs> me, my heavens! I need somebody to slap me. Um, well, well, we can arrange it. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. I found this GIF. Oh, I can't remember what oh, it was. You, you, you should not the use harder? the word on, on on stream. Oh, the GIF. Because you know somebody will have opinions on whether it's GIF or GIF. I I'm fine with either. I I don't. Yeah, I don't know. There. Yes, it was Spock. It's Spock getting uh, <laughs> getting slapped oh, in yes. the face and saying harder. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I... I don't know if I want to show that on stream, though. Um, it feels a little kinky, but... It's, <laughs> I mean, it's, yes. it's essentially like, because I need to wake up, you know? Somebody needs to hit me. But, you yeah, know, uh, I mean... 
a lot of the original series has very campy acting. It's like you know, people yeah. people make fun of, of Shatner for it a lot. Yeah, I, I mean, I get that. It was a different time, though. Um, are there any changes to the tiles that show good yields for new outpost placements? I love to have it so it always shows the top three choices. Sometimes it recommends none. So you have to manually check. Ooh, that's a great question. I actually don't know if anything's been changed with that element. I don't think there has been any changes to that. Jordan is brave for saying it the correct way. <laughs> oh, gosh. If I still had my... I, I went back when I was studying. We had a pronunciation dictionary. And mm -hmm. for a lot of, of things that changed over time, they would have like, oh, we did a survey. And here's like the breakdown of how many people... And I can imagine that was probably one where they had like, oh, this many people say it this way and this many people say it that way. But yeah. See, I don't have it anymore. Okay, okay, chat. Here's here's my justification for saying Jif. I heard, maybe it's just an urban legend or some folklore, uh, that the creator of the Jif himself yes. said it, it is that true. it was pronounced it Jif. Is, it is true. Like the peanut butter. But But also, for me personally... I'm, I'm 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 a descriptivist, not a prescriptivist when it comes to mm -hmm. linguistics. And so, if, if most people do it one way, that is the way it is correct for the language. And even if that means people say literally, I don't mean figuratively. If everybody does it, then the then dictionary it, then is it correct to add that. Literally means literally. <laughs> yeah, and then then literally suddenly means figuratively. Mm -hmm. And Webster is right to add it if everybody is doing it. I mean, it makes It sense. annoys me that, you know, they're using it liter to, to mean actually the opposite. But if everybody's doing it, then that's what the language well, is. Well, and French has great examples of this too. Apparently there's like a sub language that people are speaking that we just don't know that they're speaking because we don't understand enough French to get it called the like inverse language. Oh, I've, I've heard of that. Where it's like, um, I think the example that comes to, to mind is calling a farm which would be woman uh a muff because it's farm backwards yeah I've, I've heard of it and it's like weird stuff but that that you know that specifically is a slang but it's more like you know the natural language evolution is like yeah if everybody's doing it that way then it that is the rule now and but, it's but like, that's the crazy thing is is apparently there enough people started saying it the backwards way that they created the inverse of the inverse which is ironically not the same as the original it's not just fum it's like fum or something at, 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 at least it's not cockney rhyming slang <laughs> i don't drink coffee though Rob, i i the I, issue. Yes, I yes verlan exactly that's what it was called verlan okay yeah, I've sh choosy programmers choose GIF. <laughs> <laughs> but in, in Kamer calls it GIF himself. <laughs> but but in, in the end, you know, I don't I don't give a damn whether people say GIF or GIF. Yeah. All right, let me catch up with chat. I've been I've been. Uh, you've you've been I've musing been, too much about yeah, French yeah, slang. Yeah, 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 yeah. Will the spies be f uh, found intel? Will sorry. Will the spies find intel? about if the other empire's leaders like pineapple on pizza um that would definitely be some dirt on uh, the i mean other yes that, that, that is most certainly agreements according could, to some people <laughs> you could you could get some leverage for that for sure have you heard uh you know that guy really likes pineapple on his pizza yeah, the, the, you want to go to war with me to, have, to have, have, have you heard what this guy puts on his pizza <laughs> let's go fight him <laughs> let's take over his cities new, new, impose our culture new, new resolution in the um Ooh. uh damn it i didn't get close enough to see the city but I, we need to see the city to you know interact with them well they're aggressive so yeah but i was hoping because the army had been over here but i guess they have to... oh they're burning our stuff Oh, no. And they have chariots already. I feel like the minor civilizations having chariot. Oh, I guess we have anti-chariot people though. This emblematic unit. Oh yeah, so money's an issue. Money, money's a bit tight, but you know we need. To wheel, get wheel would help, money. so we can get there faster. Not for the road, yes, yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, it's graphics interchange format, not graphics. <laughs> The, 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 no, the, 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 the giraffics interchange <laughs> format is when you post memes with giraffes in it. <laughs> yeah. Some long neck humor. 
<clears throat> um, hey, Oscar Marquez. How you doing? How you doing? Um, I'm afraid of the I'm afraid of the elections. T Tbh. <laughs> I'm not, I, I'm I not am, looking forward to I it. am very concerned. Uh, especially with the uh, the recent Twitter uh, happenings. Yes, I'm very concerned about it, especially since, you know... It's it's interesting being a social media manager and seeing what's <laughs> happening to our, like, main platform. I mean, Facebook may get more interactions, but I think Twitter is the most used in regards for, like, yeah. people actually finding out information about our games. Uh, you know, so it's interesting. But yeah, it's... I'm I'm definitely concerned about the election, but it's probably best for us to not get into that here. Um, oh, come on! Being a prescriptivist, prescriptivist when it comes to English is the height of madness. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the the language that steals words from everybody else, and you want to and makes up words on the daily. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly, uh, and and nouns all the verbs. And you want to be a prescriptivist about it. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like the only correct response to that is I bet. <laughs> I swear that's what all the youngins are saying these days is bet. <laughs> bet what? What are you betting? What what are the stakes of this bet? What's on the line? Another good example. Well, well, the stakes of this bet are obviously lunch. Yeah, I guess. Steaks usually have for dinner. <clears throat> Another good example is how dialects have their own way of saying things that is incorrect by the standard language de definition. When you look at from a dialect perspective, there's a specific rule and it makes sense. I read all that. I don't know if I understood <laughs> it. Those were certainly words you said. <laughs> okay, let me break it down. Dialects have... Do you know for, so let, a dialect? Let, 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 let's begin. Is, do, you, do you know the difference between an accent and the dialect? So a dialect is like literally different words, right? But, like not just how you say the words. Yes, yes, yes no. The accent is mostly the pronunciation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe there's some peculiar well, words, like, but, but the British dialect English and American English aren't technically dialects. They're just different. Mm, or are the, they different dialects? They're, they're different dialects because of the spelling, I think. Well, in different... Words, because you have different spelling rules. As well. But a dialect can even have different grammar rules. Mm. So what's a good example of dialects, then? Because maybe if I understand that better, then this will make more sense. <laughs> you, you, you know how people always say, like, oh, a double negative is a positive, so you, you can't yeah. do the, oh, I, I, I've never not seen something like this? Mm -hmm. In Bavarian German... People put so many negations in the same sentence to put emphasis on the negation. And it's not a minus um, and minus makes a plus, it's just more and more. And by It's like in Spanish where you say, um, I take, uh, well, I don't know why I take pills is what came to mind. <laughs> medicine. Should I be concerned I about medicine. you? I take medicine or something <laughs> like that. Um... Uh, but you could, you could, you could say me, I take medicine to say like, I'm the one doing like to yeah. emphasize it. Yeah. You and, say and like it in, again. in, in, you know, standard German that maybe that's a uh, in standard German, for example, keiner hat niemals Geld gehabt would be nobody ne had never had money would be like, okay, so people always had money because you know, it's two negations, but in Bavaria, mm -hmm. it, it would be like, no, no, that means nobody ever had any money. Right, it's because like it's multiple a negatives. Be because it's a different grammar rule. Mm. Of course, you know, in most most Ger of Germany, people still do it that way to emphasize it, just like they do in English. But technically, grammatically, it's wrong. Right. Okay. I want to. I want to. Uh, oh more. yeah, the the U.S. English. The, the I ain't never seen. I ain't you you never ain't seen. never seen nothing yet, or something like that, right? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't negate. It intensifies the negative. By the way, English used to be fine with double negatives. The that only changed in the 1700s. History. History. Chinese and Cantonese are dialects. They're not just separate languages now? Oh, are dialects usually... Uh, they chased us down. For the third turn in a row. Sheesh. <laughs> GIF is peanut butter, at least in Canada, so I have to say GIF and not GIF. Uh, I mean, for for people understanding you's sake, yeah. But I feel like context is... Context matters. Yeah, context is enough. I mean, think about French. 
You literally would not know what anybody was saying unless there was context. <laughs> it's that bad. Like, what is the what is the meme word? Ver? Le ver. Oh, yes. I've seen the... the, the yes, yeah, oh, yeah, the... the, the, the I see the green glass or something like that. Yeah. And like, mm -hmm. I see the green glass, and there's a bunch of other ones. It's 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 uh yeah. I don't have words. <clears throat> I don't know. UK people don't sound like they're speaking English sometimes. I mean, it was funny when I when I took my wife to uh, Ireland recently. I was expecting her to like not be able to understand them very well because. There are definitely some people that are harder to understand, but apparently the accents in Dublin are pretty tame. I remember the accents in the countryside out by like Tipperary and other places like that. And I remember talking to people and being like, excuse me, <laughs> you say what now? Like I, I had no idea what, ooh, 66. Nice. And this is what I mean. One damage that, from and that. Th th this is what I mean. Like, you know, individually they can be quite strong. Yeah. But the the new Sumerian one has like a a bonus for for teaming up, so yeah. when you get a whole army of them, they can be quite strong. Yeah, I get it. Uh, I speak Spanish, but I don't know the other Latin family languages. I also use double negation in some phrases. I yeah, I don't know. There's there's a lot of a lot of information to to learn about different languages and like the way that they do things for sure. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Jurassic Jurassic Park. Oh, I was gonna say Jurassic Park. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what sound do giraffes make? They make like a sheep sound or something, don't they? I have no idea. Like, honestly. <laughs> what sound does a giraffe make? It sounds like a question for children. Oh god, I know. Hmm, I don't know if you remember that when when that was like the meme song, the what does the fox say by the I think you, the, the, the Norwegian guy or what it was like, oh no, no, it's stuck in my head, no. The cow goes moo, horse goes nay, and fish go blub. Oh man. Speaking of animals, the bears are attacking. Oh no. They're barely gonna hurt us though, right? Oh no, we have scouts. <laughs> yeah, we only have scouts, but if we, you know stand in reasonable positions it should be fine and also we can like be you know supportive to each other uh, i should have moved them here first then we would have had the backstab backstab bonus but we can get some backstabbing going on here oh yeah stab him in the back no oh, yeah bear can't handle it <clears throat> uh i feel like oh okay sometimes i need to just read the comment before i say it Wow, you opened a whole can of worms with is Cantonese a dialect or a language? See, I but I have no I have no context with that. Like I don't understand. I I don't know anything about either language uh, either, so I can't. But our say dialects. Anything, but... So like um. But I still haven't really have. Well, the 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 the, 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 the thing is honestly a different language because well, it's still the no. same language. So then, if it's the same language, shouldn't it just be well, the same name? Or is that more no, historical? The, the, the thing is, you're very much thinking in drawers, put stuff in, but r really, if you look at it, from accent to entirely different language, it's kind of a sliding scale because you have fluid, like I you have like accents, you have dialects, and you have like pidgin, where like two languages combine to form a new one, and so it, it's well, it's really are it's really flowing. As yeah, well. exactly, and it's really murky, and yeah, there are, linguists point. are probably constantly having arguments about whether something is a dialect or or new language brazilian portuguese yeah and Portu portugal portuguese those definitely feel like dialects <laughs> carry him with you and mountain man means bring your friends huh you'll learn something new every day you're in French. French is a language. Ox, Occitan, Occitan, like the occipital lobe. No, no, uh, or the ox, o Occitania Occitan is like, I think it's southern France. Hmm. And Parisian are dialects. Hmm. 
Or German, you've got... Parisian is just people not breathing while they speak. (laughs) (laughs) Parisian is the hardest to to understand for me. Honestly, when I'm talking to somebody else from another part of France, I'm like, wow, I'm so good at French. (laughs) They they speak so much slower than the Parisian people. And clearly, like... Have like, you, sure, you don't pronounce every have, letter. Have you ever been so. in a meeting with our life ops manager? Are you talking about Simone? Simone? Yeah. Oh, God, he speaks so fast. Oh, yeah. Like, well, it, even the other French people are like, Simone, do you ever slow down when speaking? I've never heard him speak French very much. Like, I think I've heard him speak a little bit of French when he was in Germany, when he was like, I need somebody to speak French to. I've been speaking English all day and I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> I can't handle it anymore, yes. I've been there though with Spanish. When I lived in Spain, there were some times when I just was like, okay, I will not be speaking Spanish anymore today. So you can't speak English to me. I'm just going to speak English back to you, even though you're speaking Spanish to me. And that's where we're at. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm sorry. But my brain sorry. is just shutting down. <laughs> yeah. I, I can definitely understand, but yeah, it's. He, he is definitely one of the fastest speakers I've met here at Amplitude, and... Really? Wow. And I have a lot of trouble understanding when he speaks French. Like, with, with most people, I can kind of follow it, but with him, it's it's definitely a struggle because he speaks so fast. Yeah. Hola, ¿qué haces? Escuche español. Bueno, hablo español. Habla? I can't hear your text, Pepe. <laughs> I believe it. I, I think I yeah, think the thing that hits me the most about Simon is uh, when he yeah. says contemporary so- era. <laughs> <laughs> contemporary era. Ah, uh, you had to go there. I did. You should yeah. be glad that he's not watching live. I'm sure. I'm sure he's not. He can't handle this amount of English <laughs> spoken. <laughs> Bro, I, f- I I feel like I can make these jokes because I've been there, but maybe he would be upset. I I just. <laughs> It's a real struggle when you're learning a language and you just, your brain is completely saturated. You get to yes. a point where you cannot think any longer. It, it it's is, just mush. Everything is mush it at is, that w- point. When, you, when you're speaking a foreign language and you're at a situation where you, you know, still have to actively think about speaking that language. Mm-hmm. It's not you second just, nature. You it's just kind of, like, I can speak English all day long because, you know, I long since passed the point where I sometimes dream in English. Yeah. But like for French, I couldn't handle it. Because oh, yeah. I'm not I'm not good enough. At you reach French. a point of saturation, and whenever I reached that point of saturation, I would just stop. I would just stop speaking, and I would just be like, ah, you know what? Excellent! Finally, ah, knock. Independent people, we can finally show off something. Knock on the door. Let's go. So, as you can see here, we still have the the trust for the ideological proximity, but it's a bit more compact now. You no longer get the four separate axes. It just gives you what their ideologies are, so homeland and progress, and so tells you how close four. you are. It's always been two of the four, Which but, showed but, all it, but it four. always showed all four, and we right. were like, mm, that, that actually takes up way more space than it needs to, so let's compress that a bit. So now you can have a better overview here of how much your patronage is growing and, mm-hmm. and all of that stuff. But first, as you can see here, it's clearly saying, hey, you might want to say hi, first of all. Oh, it's more expensive here. I, when I was playing, it was less expensive. Because of the distrust. It depends on the ideo- ideological proximity, as far as I recall. If they mm. really like you, then this is cheaper. Interesting. But yeah, we're, we're going to say hello. So, do you view and now, friend or foe? we get the new options. It's time to Bribing and praising. I mean, they're technically the same options as before, but they're no longer buttons you can click like 10 times a turn and just get 20 influence every turn. Mm-hmm. Now, it's slowly per turn, but we have to pay the upkeep for it. So we could go like, oh, 12 points per turn, but it's like 12 money per turn. Or you could do both influence. as well, and right? we can do both as well for 24, which we maybe we should so or that we can move their... up, up here so we can show off the other stuff. We another, can afford it. Another big change is you will see currently there's like percentages and points listed here. We need to get past the number of points, but also if somebody else is investing, our share of the points needs to be above the percentage. So if we get to the oh, 24... it's a total percentage. Yeah, if we get to the 24, that unlocks as long as nobody else has invested so much that our 24 is less than the 15%. So All if right. we're if we if like, oh yeah, we're above the 24, and they're like, yeah, but these other guys have invested a thousand points, you had like 1% of influence, then we're so, like... So you could have like three people fighting over the same one and yes. nobody can ever get to full assimilation. Well, that's where, you know... 
spreading our religion and our culture will come in because you know having religion and culture there will also add to the patronage growth and obviously only one person can be dominant in the region at a time and if you have the dlc the the uh, envoys can also be used to uh, boost your growth. i guess other people could also stop feeding them uh, yeah i mean i, mean, I guess i guess i guess the, the way like to they... stop other people from feeding them money is you declare war, you beat them up, you demand war reparations, and then they can't afford to bribe them anymore. <laughs> they have no money. Uh, what's up? D don't, 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 sellers. Hi, ask you questions. Humankind go to Xbox. Um, yes. E eventually. We eventually. don't know when yet. But there is no date. So yes, but also... Hmm. Not I yet. I think these I will only bribe for now. Actually, no. Let's let's fully invest in these so they stop attacking us. But on these, I'll take away the influence because we do still want to found some outposts. Mm -hmm. Income in English versus outcome and being entirely different words must be so confusing for English as a second language <laughs> people. Oh, there's so much that's confusing. Income versus outcome. For, 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 for Germans, there's some words that were really frustrating in English. For example, you know... The, the words sensible and sensitive. <laughs> I'm thinking about the words, sorry. Yeah, no, but but if you think, for example, sensible and sensitive, what they mean in English? Well, sens sensible. Yeah, or... but, but the thing is, yeah, it's like the, the, the German thing. word for sensitive is sensible. Yeah, it's like... Which is something completely different than sensible. Which, which means like, uh, you're like, not yeah. intelligent, but it's like, uh, <laughs> you're... Sensible, like you're you reasonable. Have common sense, yeah. Yeah, like, you're reasonable, but not your, you know, have sensitivity. Sensitivity. Yeah. So it's like so confusing for the Germans. <laughs> so income is money. Outcome is what happens after you do something. I mean, as, as a former math teacher, trust me, people couldn't tell apart income, expenses, and revenue anyway. <laughs> like, That's fair. People, people, the students are always struggling so much with the difference between revenue and, and income. And only bribes. Only bribes. <laughs> only bribes. <laughs> onlybribes.com. Yep. Hey, what's up, Bakoff? How you doing? <clears throat> like, income is money you're earning. Meanwhile, outcome is the end result of something happening, not losing money. No, that'd be like... Wait, no, there, I was going to say ingress and, <coughs> and egress, but there's no outgress. I'm trying to think of funny, th funny in and out differences now. I can't think about in and out. I'll get hungry. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, aren't we always Dang hungry it. on stream? Dang it. I want a burger now. <laughs> I said in and out and now I want it. Uh. <coughs> oh, damn it. I accidentally sent these guys down here. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Welcome we back, should, Axel. We should now. The game's going well. I mean... Okay, yes. See, now, if, if we had the influence, but we need to make some influence because these guys really don't like us. Um, we, could so we could start pumping influence into one of now. these, but we can only ever have, have one of these in each of the columns. So it's like a tree. Well, no, it's not, not a tree. It's not, well, not, not, a, not, not like, a literal tree. But, but it's like, you know, Choose your there, own there's, there's different levels, but in each level, we can have only one. Active. Choose your own treaty. So obviously, you know, uh, the privilege contract that gives you discounts is not something you'd pick if you picked science collaboration here because what worth this is a discount if you can't buy the stuff right but like we have to decide do we want to buy the resources or do we want to rent the mercenaries mm. or do we just hey get us 16 science which right now we were looking at like we only had like 13 uh, 30 science so 16 is quite a lot for the profit sharing is like okay six money right now is not not great They're but you not know making as a lot of money but they only have like we can't even see it because you know they they attacked us before we could see it. But they probably have like only their central plaza, so obviously we're not getting a lot of money out of them while they have only their central plaza because that's mm -hmm. six money on the, the the plaza. But you know we get big share of their their money with that treaty, and okay. then eventually, and that's the very important part. Sure, there's still the assimilate button of hey make the city mine, but there's also the no, actually, they're paying me a good amount of money here, and you can see everything you'd get. You get influence and everything. And it shouldn't talk about international sway when you don't have the DLC active. I think, you know, we need to talk to QA about that. Uh, but yeah, if you have the DLC, you also get more say in the Congress of Humankind if you have uh, client states. Because, you know, right. they're, they're voting 
in in your favor. Yeah. And um, they're kind of like your pawn. Exactly. And for all of the map painters, if you make them a client state, while they will still govern themselves, it will actually color them in in your color, so you don't have to worry about gray splotches in the middle of your territory. Because we know a lot of players actually Aesthetics. really care about that. No gray splotches. Splotches. When do you have to translate to Polish? It's literally outcome and income. Well, that's nice. <laughs> uh, what's up, Ordos? One client state by independent. Uh, what do you mean? One client state by independent? So that that can be one of the outcomes. Either you can yes. assimilate them or you can keep them as a exactly. client you can, state. You can take Which... over ruling the city or you can say like, no, you can rule yourself as my minor vassal, so to speak. So you I get some, some bonuses. I personally it. feel like... Uh, I'm definitely going to use the client state a lot because it won't affect your city cap. Yes. And that's kind of And huge. of course, as they build up, you know, right now... Obviously, uh, you're not getting right industry now, or yeah, anything. I mean, right now, okay, the 16 signs is good right now. The 6 money, not so much, but the 16 influence right now would be huge. Yeah. And also, you know, we get uh, the, the top two, as I say, they're actually related to the DLC features, which shouldn't be visible when you don't have the DLC active. I guess there's, there's a missing check in the tooltip i mean one player is able to become a client state by intendant group oh yeah 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 no o only one one leash per per independent oh people. Yeah, yeah 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 everybody can't have them as their client it once once you make it a client state you're their ruler and nobody else can get it but you know since you have have to have 60 percent of the share it's actually kind of tough getting there I think it's cool. I think it's uh oh you're fine, Ordos. I'm just trying to read what people are saying and then figure out what it means. <laughs> sometimes sometimes if I assume that somebody's trying to say something else, I'm wrong. So I often try and not assume first and just try and figure well, it out. Well you know what what they say about when you assume? Uh you're wrong a lot, yeah. Well no, I'm, know, just, I'm just you kidding. know, you know they, they say they say something that we shouldn't say here on Twitch unless we want to get you know <laughs> I don't it's not TOS, it's more branding. <clears throat> it's more it's more brand image. Uh but yeah, there's there's definitely, you know a certain saying about assuming. Yeah. Good day at school, lots of classes, but good homeworks put me in a good mood. Ooh, nice. Siota? Siota? Kaya? Kayota? Chota? I don't know what that means. Back awful. What if my empire color is gray? <laughs> then you'll be fine. <laughs> that and thought, no matter the number of times I use them in text, will always break my brain for a minute. I always mix them up. <laughs> yeah. Thought and though. Sorry, thought and though. <laughs> That extra T really changes things, Spoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to build our, our obelisk so we can make sure the religion spreads here, but I'm not sure where we should build it. I speak French, so English is always... It, it always takes a long time. No worries, Ordos. Um, I mean, I guess I allow people to, to type in chat in Spanish and English when I'm here, but technically you could type in French as well, and that'd probably be okay as well. Um, yeah, we, we do. As long as we understand, we, we do reasonably language. well reading French. I think. Yeah, what, that's what not we an have issue. a lot more trouble with is you know listening Hearing. to French because it's harder to tell apart where the words end and begin. Yeah, and this, you can see how it's spelled in text. So if you need to, if you need to type a message in French because it's easier, uh, I won't begrudge you that. But if there's a word that we don't understand, we can always try and figure it out. Mm, yeah, I, th I think I'm actually gonna choose your own treaty adventure. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna exactly. turn this into a city now and like actually I, this one over here is gonna be the right spot for the city because that's the best baseline. Oh, also, I, I had a request recently while you were gone from a member of the community. We don't have enough uh, influence. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah what, what request did we have? For a while, we're, it, was, it was less of a request and more of a, a uh, hope and dream that we would play the game zoomed in more. 
Ah. So that they can actually see, yeah, I, I, not just know, a gray light. I know, I, I tend to zoom out a little bit too much. When oh, no. Recalls, um, yeah, they suggested one away from full max zoom, <laughs> so... I think that on a big map, it'd be a little bit yeah, tougher. Yeah, uh, one away from full max is... A bit too close. <laughs> I think it looks really good if it you turn really, off the, the uh, it, borders. It, it looks really good, but this is pretty much unplayably close. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I was I was I, doing I think, like three know, something or something like something like this, so maybe a little closer. I even think closer than that, because like you can't really appreciate the depth of the tiles, except for the mountains. But anyways, just yeah, no, just it, a thought. It's it's definitely a a, a personally I I really wish we had more control over the gray transition here but i understand why it has to automatically happen because if you think about how many individual, individual things uh, how many meshes for the terrain and the units and well i think the trees are not meshes there's some kind of uh, imposter is the phrase i think where yeah. it's like actually just a 2d texture that's very cleverly made to look 3D, but, it's like a box but but, 2D it, but it's but it's still you know a lot of them so yeah. hey new follower thank you very much pax paxis land uh for joining the amplitude studios community welcome in how's your day going mm. Mm, oh yeah. also yeah you'd advertise assumption games if you finished that line or the game <laughs> mass effect <clears throat> is it Ordos as in House Ordos from the Dune game, the 2001? I wonder. I'm not sure. Ordos, you'll have to you'll have to answer that one. Is it is your name based off of the Dune game? But you know, also you know, with the whole what you can say and not, you know, it's the 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 old uh, problem of the Knowledge. language filter. Your mm. The, the Scunthorpe problem. Scunthorpe. Scunthorpe. It's a it's a it's a village in the UK, which is actually right next to Penistone. Mm. You can imagine why both Penistone yeah. and Scunthorpe. You can imagine why these two cities... <laughs> <laughs> the captions, no! You can imagine why these two cities have some problems with search engines. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> and, you know, I've, I've, if you look on Wikipedia for... It's actually called the, the Scunthorpe problem. Mm -hmm. And they have a list of stuff that happened. And there was like apparently one time where uh, the language filter of a news website re replaced assassinate with butt buttinate. But beca buttinate. <laughs> because ass was flagged as bad language. <laughs> Can't say assassinate. It's got two. It's got <laughs> two asses. It's, it. got, it's got too much ass. <laughs> I mean, maybe you're just talking about donkeys. It's possible. Yeah. I'd say that that's a pretty, like, plausible deniability one. <laughs> FOV is set to 70. Honestly, yeah, we should play with... <laughs> play zoomed in. Smallest FOV. I vote Stephanie votes. I vote Stephanie votes max zoom out. Plays max <laughs> zoom. I kind of want to what get you one more What do you play when you're normally out? playing? Do you normally keep it pretty far zoomed? I, I mean, it usually ends up being somewhere here or here and you know around the transition line because it's just i want the overview of a decent chunk of terrain especially when i'm planning my cities mm -hmm. so it because here it's it's really it's really hard to to tell where i need to move my units where i need to place the districts um, yeah i get it i guess i can disband these guys to get some population in this city it's like i could just turn off the uh the hud for you if you want <laughs> It's gonna be a bit harder to play that way. <laughs> <laughs> just, just if you want, you know. Pax is land. Paxis land. Pax Island. <laughs> Pax there are so is... many ways to parse that. Paxis land. Ah, it's an it's a theme park. Uh, Axel wants you to change the capital name to Arlay again. Well, I d I did it in an endless legend to, game. To to what? To Arlay, Arlia. Are, are uh, I, I mean, since you have the keyboard, you will need to do the typing. Got anyway. you. Got you. Wait. Oh, relay. I spelled it wrong. The, the place where dead Cthulhu lies streaming. I wasn't able to figure out the reference, so you it's you getting called, it is it's, probably it's quite satisfying. And and apparently, I, I once read that uh, 
Lovecraft specified in a letter that it's actually supposed to be pronounced. Pardon me for the sound. Hlulu. <laughs> Hlulu. Because it's technically supposed to be unpronounceable by human anatomy. Mm, because what do you need to be an orc or something? Or? An elder god. An elder god. It, Got it. Cthulhu is Hildegard. Cthulhu <laughs> is this bat-winged, tentacle-faced being that sleeps under the ocean and mm. is like you know the size of the Empire State Building mm. or something like that. Creepy. I offer an ex I... <laughs> <laughs> the Empire Clan, butte, 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 might, but a might. I guess, I guess, obviously, you know, to make a, a gaming religion, obviously, the right way to pronounce Cthulhu is Wallalo. Wallalo. <laughs> you know, Age of Empires uh, was one or two, the priests who could convert your units. Oh. And they yeah, just stand there, you know, raise their arms, Wallalo, Wallalo, and suddenly your, your elite unit would change color and belong to the enemy. The, mm. Mm. Um, we are not playing the DLC. We're actually playing only, a, only the update. A preview build of the uh, free update. So this has uh, updated UI. This has well, basically all the things that are coming in the free update. So stealth um, rework, uh, third-party reinforcements, I guess technically. Technically, yes. And as well, the new interactions with minor civilizations. The latter of which we can at least show off already. Yeah. This does not have the Congress of Humankind, no. That is in the paid expansion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Edgar's, Edgar heard <laughs> heard us talking about uh, <clears throat> assassination and, <laughs> and just appeared. We've summoned <laughs> Edgar by that. <laughs> Such debatable topics, yeah. I always play from afar. I I've tried to 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 play the zoomed in, and I actually think I prefer it. It just makes me it, play slower. It it looks very nice, but I I find it's it's hard to keep a, a strategic overview. Yeah, sorry about but, that. But Ray anyway, Wong. we honestly we've, we've wish we could play with the expansion. We've been delaying it. We've been delaying our ascension for long enough. So who should we play? Um, that's a great question. Classical era, era two. Are we only on era two? We're only on era two. Yes, yeah. because I've been, you know, cranking out some more of the no, that's good, that's districts. Good. But we should rush through the I was other one. Say, because we should play the it's, Han. It's been, <laughs> yeah, but it's already been an hour, so we kind of need to to yeah, keep yeah, yeah, rushing yeah, through, enough, so we can uh, show the. You know, I never actually noticed that he has like a right angle triangle here. Is that? I mean, because they're sciency. At at at, the, at this perspective, it's not a right angle, but it's clear that it's supposed to be a right yeah, yeah. angle. That's uh, a that's a yeah. What do you call that type of triangle? A right triangle? Right angled triangle, because you know this one is ninety call them degrees. Right triangles. Because you have an isosceles, you got a right triangle. Yes. <laughs> right angle. <laughs> those are the triangle, two. Yes. <laughs> those are you, the two. You have I know. obtuse. You have acute. You have isosceles. You have. I always um, loved saying acute when I was what, in school. What was What's the the one for where where e all the sides are the same? Equilateral, exactly. Yes, where all the sides are on the same. But anyway, it does look like an right angle one. Scalene is the other triangle. What is scalene? I mean, I, scalene is that just very generic for a triangle. But uh, but anyway, we also have a message from ja okay. Joao. Um, somebody said we should try the Morians, and yeah, sure. <laughs> and yeah, because sure. That, Let's do it. Because you know the research quarter, the the influence bonus, and it counts as a research quarter. So this is uh, gonna yeah, be the good. Stupa. Th this is good for us spreading our. Did we um, get the elephant too? Yes, but this is gonna yeah, be good excellent. to get some some influence on the to invest in the independent people here and actually get our religion and stuff spread there. Ah, the religion's already spreading. That's fine. Good. But our our culture actually ah here we can see the. Let's see if we can actually see it in here. Uh, what's uh, up, Schnee? Yeah, How you yeah. doing? You can see, actually, because they've been investing, but also their culture has spread here in Nock. They actually pulled ahead of us. They have 108, and we only have 72. What? Yeah. This is why we need to spread our religion and culture. My goodness. All right, let me catch up with chat. We got a lot of things going on here. We got two chats that I got to keep up with. All right. Uh, was that the Kraken? <clears throat> Gouda is Wuda. Ah, oh, Dutch. Wulu. Lovecraft shouldn't have been a huge dork and made it look like Chthonic then. Was it super easy to pronounce? 
Do we have a second city? Uh, it's, yeah. Yeah, we finally got Zipper online. Given it cannot be pronounced by humans, how did Steph just pronounce it? <laughs> because I'm an human, obviously. She's an elder god! <laughs> uh, AoE one was Wolo or Yo Yo. Nobody's asking the right question. Actually, a trick from the OST is called Wo Dodo. Uh, can we name a second city to Yuga? As looking for ideas? Yes. How about science and Yug Yugas? I'd say the Mario. Like a couple of good ones there. Uh, they, yeah, they, of, of course they spelled it out in chat because that's the only oh. way to, oh, the only way they can ask you to. That's that's where the fun guys are from. <laughs> it's a, I've I don't know it's, I it, pressed Y and it did things. Yeah, no, it's, no, it, it just toggled the the bio oh, okay. menu. That's, that's who knew that that was the hot button. For... But but no, it's um. It's another Lovecraft reference, and Yugoth is where the Migo are from, and it's they're referred to as the Fungi from Yugoth because they're like a mushroom kind of thing. Mm, I like it. So yeah, it's like where the Fungi are puns. from. Mushroom puns are my favorite. So um, should we pick a different? Hey, Saikana, road to how you doing? Welcome in. We w yeah, we wish we could uh, could show the expansion off as well. I mean, let's lean into the science so I we can research all the stealth stuff. And hmm, I would say, you know, and express, we're already Buddhist, so express how much you want to see the expansion ahead of time on our streams, like somewhere on social media, so that we can refer back to it and like use it as argument to let the to ask them to let us show, a, you know, expansion content pre-release. But I honestly don't think that it would even work. So <laughs> yeah, I don't, so, I, I, we're gonna have a very hard time convincing them. I think. No, it has to do with the whole marketing strategy, uh, you know. And so, it's um, you know, a lot of these things are are left under embargoes for like press and like gaming shows and things like that. Oh God, I just realized we researched so much as the Babylonians. We only have like. What, two, two or three takes? <laughs> we only have two takes left here. We're not gonna get any sign stars in this era. <laughs> uh -huh, well, like, no. well, I guess it counts the total technologies. So I guess we're yeah, just gonna. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, we, we researched so far ahead. Hey, bienvenidos, Leonard. Es un gusto de de tenerle aquí. Um. Yes, from South America. NASCAR, Native American, yeah. And who are they? Yes. Time Thank you for answering the question, Navarro Bursk. History. Mm. Oh, man. Uh, anyways, oh, Yao is saying, make Oceania Cultures DLC. I want to see New Zealand, Hawaiians, Maoris. You, you never know. It might happen. You know, oh, I wish we had the 400 influence. We could we just could just client state them. Ah, uh, two more turns? <laughs> and luckily, nobody else is investing in them. So we don't necessarily need to keep on spending the money. Even yeah, we can can take away the money. And would just, that? Th it's would not we gonna, keep it, whatever it, we've yeah, already it, invested? It doesn't tick down. Okay, it, it, it stays. Have I ever tried poutine? I haven't, and and part of my life is unfulfilled because of that. Tell I mean, me where I, I can mean, get I, poutine in Paris, and I'll do it. And I I'll eat I it. think Bo knows some places. I'll take a picture of myself eating poutine, and I'll and I'll DM it to you, Bacon. Right. Uh, anyway, I yay Zane! To... I'm so happy that people are getting the creator avatars that you're missing. Noise. The OG state sponsors. <laughs> the Morian. Um, how you doing, Schnee? Welcome into the stream. All three sides different, and all three angles different. The wacky triangle. I also send you. Oh, that's what the scaling triangle yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Like, I think it's just the like super generic, which doesn't have any special properties. Hmm. I see. Sent me a DM on Discord. Now did you? Did you now? Hmm. The Lovecraftification is underway. <laughs> I love that you can make a word like Lovecraftification. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's just English. <laughs> yeah. English being English. If a little knowledge is uh, a thing. Five research quarters. This you mean so you could use an, an, the hype as leverage? <laughs> exactly. No, here's the thing. 
my personal thought, this is just Jordan's opinions over here, uh, FYI, um, is that it's really successful to use live streaming to create hype and excitement about new content for a studio. And having that content be premiered on a live stream is a great way to premiere it. Obviously, um, the only people that care about the new content are gonna be there. Um, whereas in like a gaming show or something like that, there's people that don't already care. So there's an advantage that you might interest people that aren't interested in your game already. But I personally feel like the interest of word of mouth is always stronger than an ad type thing. So that's why I think those type of things would be I mean, better at, reserved at for... the very least in the big game just you always see all the disease and the oh move on to the next thing spamming in, in chat and you know nobody gets a chance to actually talk about what's being shown because everybody just, who yeah because the number sure there's a lot of people who care about what's being shown but the number of people who don't is greater and they just drown out the people who do there's a la poutinerie on rue d'angene Mmm, la poutinerie. Four and a half stars, ooh wee. That's way too many stars. I don't trust it. Next city be, sh next city should be Arkham, says Arkalis. <laughs> but do you have the channel points to back it up? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I but but when, when Arkalis says the next one should be Arkham, mind, he's not talking about the asylum in Gotham. Mmm, he's talking about Arkham. Arkham? In Massachusetts, in, in New England, mm. near near Dunwich. Mm. We, Which we, the, you've, the, you've lost me again. The, 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 the asylum at Batman is actually named after that fictional Arkham. Mm. Because it's another place that's featured in the, the Lovecraft stories, and it's where the Miskatonic University is, where a lot of the researchers that then discovered the Elder Gods and went mad about discovering an Elder God and mm. realizing that the laws of nature are not what they thought they were. Just, you know, go mad. I'm I'm so unlearned when it comes to this Lovecraftian thing. What is love? What is the Lovecraftian stuff? I, I know you were saying it's impacted a lot of things. Like, what is it actually impacted? Like, it's... Well, well the, mostly the horror genre in, in general. The horror genre, okay. Yeah, because, like, he, a lot of people credit him. I don't think it's correct to credit him with creating it, but he definitely made it more popular, the, the idea of cosmic horror, of, like, it's not, you know... The ghost of a dead person and you know it's like right. local and personal and it's more like there are things out there that are so vast that the entire population of earth is like an anthill to them right okay and then you're like you realize kind of, how meaningless everything humanity has done is and you go mad over that okay so kind of like how uh f not fantasy what am i trying to say um i don't know, like half the disney movies were inspired by like folk stories yeah and lord of the rings and other like medieval with orcs and elves and wizards and stuff that's all inspired by what inspired all the like fantasy stuff in general well lord of the rings drew a lot on like you know germanic and, and anglo-saxon like mythology folklore and, and, and folklore and, and then kind of everybody just copied lord of the rings I mean, it's a good one to copy. I freaking love Lord of the Rings. Yeah, but, you know, it's nice to have some variety. Yeah, of course. Especially of course. if you look at, into some of the other cultures, like East European cultures, African cultures, in indigenous American cultures. They have such fascinating myths that, you know, you never hear about because all of the fantasy is just copying Lord of the Rings. Yeah. My friend uh, made, like, a student video about something called the Wendigo. You ever heard of the uh, Wendigo? Yes, yes, I've heard of that. Yeah, it was terrifying. I, I didn't like watching it. But it was good, you know? Can we expect something from Amplitude at this year's Game Awards? Uh, I actually don't know. When are the Game Awards? I, I feel like I, I never mean, know about always, these events. They're always in December, but I don't know if we have something big to show there or not. Mm, it doesn't really coincide with any... It doesn't coincide with anything I remember. But also my memory is awful. Yeah, that's fair. I'm not sure. I would say nothing super big. I wouldn't expect anything super big. Hey, we walked by a poutine place once. It's not far from our Thai kebab place. Really? 
Hmm. Oh, you mean it's like right across the street? Um, it was. It's. Uh, it's. I think I know which one you're talking about. This? It didn't look very, very. Oh, oh so I don't know. I, I it looks kind of small. We, we did It'd be good though. We did pass the threshold. I can't judge so. it. Somebody else. Client. Ooh. Twenty-three influence. Twenty-two money. I'll take it. Twenty-three cents. Cheaper resources when we buy from them, and mm -hmm. and a very marginal discount on on renting the army. So I think this one is actually probably uh probably contract way more than this one. Yeah. So I'm it'll not, take sure. us twenty sure turns this, to I'm not sure why get a return on investment for influence. Oh no. Yeah. But but yeah. I'm I'm looking at the mercenary rent cost and I'm wondering why that one is only six percent when the other one is twenty five. I don't know. That's a good question. Your first client state. Uh, thank you for adding allied unit support in battles. That was a problem in 2v2s. Does the battle zone still lock win. allied units in the, the zone once the lane. battle starts? So many interesting questions are I haven't experienced it myself, comes. David. That's a good question. Exchange rates. I, I know there were there were some things they were looking into for that where it's. Uh, of course, when you're already in th in the zone, when it starts. You don't get the oh I move in to reinforce, so they needed to handle that, but I don't remember how it actually works now. But yeah, you can see, even though they are still ruling themselves, can we can we actually oh we we could actually I guess double up. We haven't purchased any of the other ones. Yep, we went straight for the clients. So I guess let's let's see if that actually works because I never tried it before. How much science are we making a turn now? Three thirty six. And so if we then go I think the in, the money might be more influential for us, true, but it's true, twice the amount of influence. Yeah, exactly. And I don't want to spend that much here. And maybe we can see real quick. It's got to be. Yep. Yes. And then you know, I guess, I guess next turn we can just get this and get even more money as well. Why not? <laughs> We're just stuck here because they're not moving away. <laughs> and they'll beat us probably because we're on a river too. I, I'm just going to be like, yeah, whatever. Oh, the Core Explorer isn't even firing because they, they're in the way. Uh. <laughs> All right, let me catch up on some chat. Um, the more you know. What's up, Optonomous? 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 I don't know if I said it correctly. The more you know. Heck yeah. Yeah, there was a day we walked to Gare de Lyon and it was on the way. It looked very hole in the wall, but we never looked it up. Yeah, I really should look that up. I feel like poutine is definitely something that I need. Is poutine use cheese curds or what type of cheese do they use on poutine? Because it's like fries, cheese and gravy, right? Mostly and meat. Chad might be able to tell you. I don't know. How, what is poutine made out of? It's like fries, cheese and gravy and meat or something. Um, but David, yeah, we don't plan on adding Steam Workshop uh, for humankind. Uh, he, uh, Mod.io is just the ideal um, modding platform, I guess, for us. Since it's because cross, it's cross-platform. Cross-platform. Yeah. The, the cross-platform definitely helps a lot. It is curds. Okay, cool. Fries, curds, and gravy. Is it just those three things? Seems kind of simple. I mean, I bet a simple can be good. Simple can be good. Ooh, you know what I wish we had here? Cold Stone Creamery. Mmm. Mmm. That's so yummy. That's one thing that I feel like we lack here. Like, unless you go to, like, a really fancy, like, gelato place, so, you're not getting, like, super good, like, creamy ice cream. Creamy ice cream you know what? is, like, everywhere I in the just, U.S. Just realized I need to, to check is... I'm um, assuming they fixed the values on the Cultural Blitz, though, right? I think it's been fixed, yeah. But, ah, oh, no, we can't see it yet. Uh, because I don't know, you know, there's that, that one wonder that will be free. Mm. But I don't know if it's in this beta or, or if it's something you need to redeem Maybe on GDG. Later era. It's, it's a later era, but I didn't, I forgot that you can't see them until until then. Yeah. But yeah, let, let's actually check the cultural blitz here. Um. Yeah, no, the Velgos are still pretty crazy. I mean, that's m much less crazy than like... 500,000. 64, 1400. It's less crazy, but this is still a lot of influence. I mean, yeah, but I feel like it but, should be strong. But of course, we're going to take it Even because if it's that not means yours, we can spend it. Any human built wonder is an impressive feat. I mean, when there's more things to spend your influence on, I think it's going to be really strong for sure. So let's see. Let's get this. I'd love to see more natural wonders this, and cultural wonders added, like maybe it this. could be a community challenge. 
Um, I mean, we've definitely had uh, thoughts about that, but it definitely takes time <coughs> and uh, production time to make them. Uh, so keep that in mind. They're working on other things as well. Um, but there will be more natural and cultural wonders in the expansion. Uh, that's the default, but it's like pizza. Some places go wacky with it. Sounds that sounds like what I'm interested in. People going wacky with it. I'm not sure. What I, I remember one is way way back. Uh, William D. One of the former lead designers on Humankind. Like he was the lead designer leading up to launch, and then then Baltasar took over. He was like you know talking about the pizza place near our old office where where it was one of those where you can pick your toppings. Oh, and he, make your own. Yeah, and he was like, yeah, the slogan is uh, was something like oh. Uh, le chef c'est vous? And he's like, turns out I'm a really bad pizza chef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think some people figure that out when they go to these places and they're like, I actually like it when they make it better. I make, I, I it, al- I make a al- dang good pizza. I, I always just took one of the pre-made ones because I was like, I can be sure that I don't accidentally create some weird combination that just tastes awful. I think what people n- usually do when they're making a pizza is they overdo certain toppings. They mm. think to themselves... This is like a friend's thing. Uh, meat, good. Peas, peas, good. You know, cream, good. <laughs> All them together, not good. <laughs> like, um, yeah, basically people go overboard and they're like, ah, oh, I really like chicken. Oh, I really like bell peppers. Like, I don't know, you know what I mean? Uh, and so they just know, go crazy. One small thing that we, we can mention here, relevant for the DLC, but we can't show off the Congress, but you can see like here, we have to scroll with the quill. And we, here we have the scroll with the globe. And the ones with the globe are the, also the ones where you can see what others have picked. Because those are the ones you'll be able to vote on in the Congress of Humankind. Mm. Must be an awful and I think we should actually world, you know, spend some of our money world. on buying some of these resources. I do like resources. <clears throat> I think there's still a tendency in marketing so. to overvalue trade oh, shows yeah, and the so like in terms of impact. Especially when it comes to games and tech. I mean, I would I would tend to agree with you, Arachno Dork. Um, I personally, I mean, anecdotally, I don't know if I've ever purchased a game because I was like, "Ooh, I saw it on a show, and, and it looked interesting." I like, mean, I'll go check out YouTube I mean, for, videos for, for announcements. It's very useful because then you have the broad reach, and then people who might be interested hear about it, but then they just start following you most of the time. Yeah. Right. Um versions I had were with cheese curds. Yeah, I love cheese curds. Okay, mm. now then, let's move on to the next era. The only ice cream place that pulverizes a brownie right into your ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> I always get I'm cookie don't over. you want some, and it's got uh, brownie, cookie dough, there, there's caramel, no, and chocolate There, there wasn't a, any medieval culture that has a stealth unit as emblematic, right? Um... I don't think so. Wow, I could look up the encyclopedia if you'd like me to. So which culture should we pick now? Mm. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I can, you know, check around for the rest of the turn while chat might have opinions. Chat, tell us who to be. Which culture? When will the update be available? November 9th. Optonymous. Also, I just realized it colors even the armies that we can rent in their color. Hmm, I like it. Oh, and you can rent it right from their screen. Yes. Cool. And and I guess maybe this means that only we can rent it? I'm from Seattle, Washington. It'd be so cool to see the Space Needle added. That'd be cool. That's cool. Space Needle's awesome. The Franks, of course. The Umiads. Actually, you know, I should check if there's any culture here that gives us bonuses for uh, independent people. Um, will the um, uh, Kej says, will the independent people stay forever if they become a client state? Yes, they. What? Well, well, I guess unless somebody rolls up with an army and conquers them, but they will not be able to assimilate them out from under your nose. Cookie Minster. All the way, sugar. So, so we, sugar. we had like several different suggestions. So I guess... and Franks and Mongols. Hmm. Uh, research quarter. <laughs> and also faith, I guess. But hmm. 
plus five percent science. We, we've kind of been friendly with our neighbors, so I'm not sure if the Mongols are the right one, but between the Franks and the Umayyads, that is a ten percent influence. Oh, actually, actually, wait. The the Umayyads are also scientific. Plus five percent science per alliance. It, it might ah. It might be good for oh, like the research button is up here now. As to to help us to help us get to the the stealth units to show them off. Oh, so I so think science. yes, yes. Let's take the science. Sorry, uh, we're we're choosing the because, because we only have half an hour left. Because science. Yeah, we only have half an hour left, so we really need to you know crank through that research. All right, real quick. You crank. I'll I'll keep an eye on chat. But I have to say that their cities. Uh, Arachnidorx says no, there isn't. Saboteur was the only stealth unit. Yeah, but but still, you know, we can now just. Uh, okay, it, it did finish here, so let's wait. Which one? Probably this one has more industry. Yes. So, science mode. Go into the research screen and just rush towards the saboteurs and everything. Saboteurs already here, but you know we obviously want some other stuff as well. And the quicker we get through here, we can also show off. Um, the the Sony, for example, one thing that'll go it's gonna be hard to show off is actually the uh, what's it called uh, the ambushing. Oh, the because, ambush. Because you know we can't start the ambush. Somebody else needs to walk into us. Well, we could just camp outside their cities. Well, uh, maybe a little bit further away from the city so that it doesn't pull the city into the into the battle. That's uh, the thing. It can't with the ambush. Oh, no reinforcements. Exactly. Oh, we can hide right outside their cities. Oh. I'm getting tingly just thinking about <laughs> it. <laughs> you might actually be able to, you know, uh, get the upper Sergio. hand on Sergio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to destroy you, Sergio. I got you. Sweet. Thanks. Thanks, Nathan. Uh, I'm... I am still sure that a pact for North America could be done, notably with so many native cultures that they could add. Also, I may have missed it, but did they say that New France could be a bad idea? I think. I missed part As of the line. Uh, New France? What do you mean? For both of our aspirations. <laughs> oh, goodness. What kind of map did we choose? We just chose Pangea. Yeah, I think the the um the land default settings. The, the land percentage was a little high, so we have barely any ocean. I wish that there were bigger lakes. I let's think just, it'd be cool to have really big lakes. Some industry here and even when you turn on really big lakes, I feel like the lakes aren't that big. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I I know what you mean. They're they're not like really big things where you're like oh i'm gonna need boats for this it's like no no you can still easily walk around it yeah or or like what if there was like a lake but then there were mountains on either side and like the only way to like feasibly go across was like it, sail it, you, you know i'm so, sorry but yeah science investing on raleigh does, does make me <laughs> laugh a little bit because like oh yes the, the the city where you know geometry breaks down because the dimensions Three-dimensional space no longer works there. They're, they're, they're doing science. Yes, sure. <laughs> for a possible culture for North America, if you made a pack for it someday. Well, what is uh, what do you mean by New France as a culture in America? Do they mean like, um, are we talking about like uh, Ontario, like Quebec type French culture? Yes, drops. Uh, do we have a third city to name? Oh, so one, one thing to note here, um, the saboteurs have been renamed to Prowlers because compared to the agents, they don't really do much sabotage. Of course, you can sneak them s somewhere and try to burn down a extractor or something like that. But mostly these are more for moving around in enemy territory and then... Oh, can you hover over again? I'm going to read the flavor text. <clears throat> The Prowlers travel undercover to avoid notice across enemy lines, where there are plenty of opportunities to catch units off their guard with an ambush. Yeah. And, <laughs> and if you can see, okay, yeah, that's definitely way weaker than the dedicated uh, melee units. Yeah. But they get like, if an ambush starts, you get like plus eight in the first turn. The first attack like is really strong. It's yeah. like really strong, the first attack, which obviously for like something like the Hodnosoni, 
where they have like the the gunpowder unit that's like weaker than the other gunpowder units. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a stealth unit, and you don't need need your gunpowder to build it. Stealthy. So you can you can build it up and then hide out and then so be like stealthy. Just gun the enemy down before they can react. Uh, so can we rename Knock real quick? Mm, we can't rename it because it's not our city. Oh, we can't state. rename their city. Uh, take it back, Axel. Take it back quick. <laughs> Uh, when we get another Although we, city. we can see it's getting quite expensive when we have a lot of clients. <laughs> <laughs> so do we have to keep on paying them? No, no, it's just that because we already have so many client states, I think uh, that scales the cost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, we're going to need to use that uh, ability. Oh, no, we're back to science. Dang it. Yes. Oh, seven science? Oh, wait. Oh, from, strategic from our, from, plus from, five. From our religion, Tenet. exactly. Got it. Uh, and Burj Khalifa, that'd be another cool cultural wonder. What is the Burj Khalifa? I don't know what that is. That massive skyscraper in um, Saudi Arabia? Hmm. I don't know too much about Saudi Arabia. Okay, here we can, we can actually men mention the stilt now. So you can see here, we now have this stilt meter here. Which is like, you know, seven out of seven, currently plus two because we're in our territory. So it, we can we're regenerate. regenerating. But if we move into somebody else's territory, like these guys, I don't think we have Can't any even things with them, right? We have a non aggression pact, but that's fine. So let's see if we can get over there. This, no, it's going to take a while to get over there. But once we are there, you'll see that, you know, this will start ticking down. And then I'll talk about the. I suppose the it depends on what detection rating her territories are, though. Exactly. We'll, we'll, we'll see then. It's probably not going to be great because it's... Oh, no. We can't get across here. Uh, icebergs. You need a you need an iceberg crushing ship. Wow, our stability is a little rough in that city, eh? Yeah, yeah because I forgot to build the stability stuff. <laughs> Let's just fix that real quick. And also, I've been meaning to actually buy more luxuries and just keep forgetting about it. Oh. Oh, this is probably building over Burj here. Burj Khalifa is the world's tallest building. Really? It's the it, tallest building? It, it's been the tallest building for a while. I wouldn't have been surprised if somebody built a taller one by now. Wow. But I guess right now they're more focused on building the world's longest building with that whole, I don't remember what it's called, you know, that hundred oh, miles the, long thing the, they want the to build? the line or the... Yeah, yeah. You, you know what I mean, but I don't remember what it's, what it's yeah, called. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, New France was an early name for French can Canada. I almost said Canadia. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tough one. We all know how a portion of the U.S. was New England or New Zealand. Same logic. Pretty sure there was New Spain, too. Yeah, pretty sure there was. I, I think there was probably also a, a... I think it was actually called something like Nouveau Castile or something like that because at the time Spain wasn't called Spain. Right. I'm thinking of the song... Long time ago, Constantinople got the long time ago, yep. Constantinople. Yep. But Constantinople got the works. Yeah. It's nobody's business but the Turks. Uh, but, but, something, some back then, new, something it, was it, new Even Amsterdam. old New York was once New Amsterdam. That's what it was, New Amsterdam. And it, and it was because, you know, they bought it from the Dutch. It, there you go, see? There's a new, a new one. New England, New Amsterdam. But yeah, actually, actually, super, actually uh, we could have we could have demonstrated over here the um, the reinforcements, but I saw it too late, and then the battle ended already, as so it wasn't mm. in time. But yeah, it's it's basically you know when when your allies have a battle, and you have I, I think you might need the shared logistics. I'm not sure anymore. You can move your armies in there, and then you get a pop up being like, your ally is fighting somebody else. Do you really want to give control of your units to them? Yes, no, and then when you click Are yes, you sure, it, it it goes in, and then they control your units. Because you've clicked on a link, are you <coughs> sure? <laughs> because honestly, whichever way we did three way battles, there was always the potential for griefing. Yeah. Even if you had your control, you could be like, oh, I have these uh, bad units, and the enemy has ranged units, so I'm just gonna park them here so you can't counterattack the enemy, and he kills all your units, and then I'm gonna sweep it. Like, like as soon as you involve three players, there's potential for griefing. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's just, you know, fundamental law of multiplayer, I guess. But yeah, let's see. I can actually make it into their territory now. And let's 
See? Oh. Oh, I think they have no detection at all. It's actually in the United Arab Emirates, not Saudi Arabia. Ah, okay. My mistake. There you go. My, my mistake. Nathan knows the geography. But yeah, uh, actually, uh, it seems they have no detection because we're still regenerating. <laughs> because I mean, but that's incentive to build actually, detection. Oh no, it's actually our detection here. If we exclude ours, yeah. No, we have, Wait, so we have detection in their territory? Uh, yeah, from, from our unit being Oh, there. from our unit. Because oh, okay, the spy okay, okay. has one detection th himself. Right, okay. But to, to demonstrate it, actually, if we look at the map here and exclude, then we can see, yeah, we need to go down here to demonstrate it because here they have one detection. I mean, yeah, and to when, demonstrate it going down. And and then when you click on here, it will tell you, like, the one is from... Parsisius. From, uh, you can actually... Parisius. Yeah, from army detection. They have an army there that has detection. So their army is scouting the area. Yeah. And so eventually they'll find so, you. And even if they don't run into you technically. Yep. It's more of a, sp oh. a spiritual Oh, nope. But you can see normally on the old system they would have seen us now because we're next to them. Yeah. But we can they just... still don't know we're there, but they could walk into us on accident. Yeah. We, we could attack them now but we wouldn't get an ambush because we started trouble. But if they attack us now, we'd we get might the be able plus to get a bonus. All right, let me keep catch up, catch up, catch up. Mm, I know you guys had a Latin America DLC, but it would still be cool if Gran Colombia, Gran Colombia, uh, would be added. I've heard things about Gr Gran Gran Colombia. I mean, the the update that came along the Latin America DLC was literally named after the founder of Gran Colombia. Okay. That was that was founded by Simon Bolivar. Because he was like, but you know, let's separate... actually let's actually you know. Try to unite all of these former colonies into one big country. Mm, okay. Interesting idea. I like it, Nathan. I'm from Panama. I know it's not a culture so much, a not well-known culture, but it, it could be cool to see in the future the wonder, the Panama Canal, as it was started by the French and finished by U.S. citizens. Bro, that's a great suggestion. However, I, I can't the, imagine it the, actually working on a 4X game the, with tiles. It worked in Civ. They did it in Civ, yes. really? But the thing is, they did it in a DLC where they added canal districts, where they literally had districts where, you know, because it's a canal, your ships can pass through, but your land dunes can also pass over because technically it's a bridge. I talked to the programmers, and I, we would break so many things if we tried to redo it now so that we can have tiles that are accessible to both types of units. Right. So, be That's because there's there's a system for the land units to transform into boats, but apparently if we try to add it to do the other way around, it's super complicated and would take ages. And the amount of time we would need to invest is just not worth the game right now. I think I think there's other game systems that people would like there's, to there's, see. Exactly, added. there's other things that we could do in the same amount of time that would have a bigger impact. Right, like reworking the naval gameplay, or you know. The religion stuff is something we want to religion, look at and, yeah. and all of that. Or climate change or whatever. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I that may be an unsatisfying response, Raul, but... Uh, but sadly, you know, the truth I, is not always I don't want to, I don't want to oh, like... Oh, wait, Empire. yes, yes, please. Win the no, battle first. Uh, we can't rent them, Safe but we can at least show it off. Uh, or was that actually one of our units? That's our saboteur, or our prowler, excuse me. No, this is actually, yes. Praetorian Guard. We actually get reinforcements from them. Oh. They have committed to our battle. But they, they attacked our, our prowler here. I, I thought this was them attacking the blue player, actually, for a moment. But yeah, this is nice. They, they gave us these reinforcements. They so gave our, us their units. So our, our saboteur is actually not immediately dead. <laughs> Put him in the back. Put the saboteur in the back. Saboteur is whack. <clears throat> oh! No, they, they, they stumbled into our saboteur. So we do have... But we can see because it's still beta, we the, the icon is broken. But ambushing, if we go here now... 62. Plus, plus 8. Specialty level. That must I, be I wonder, I wonder if, if, I, if I draw this one in... No, this one doesn't get it because he's a reinforcement. But this guy actually 
<laughs> that's gonna hurt them because we get the normally you know we'd not be that much better than them but with the the ambush bonus this is like ooh, this is gonna hurt but i think i should put it here so they don't have like a bunch of tiger on tiles to attack us <laughs> And then, uh, and then let's pull in. Oh, oh wait, limited what, what, by what, the river. What, what other units do they have for reef? Mm, archers. Yeah, I should probably pull in the archers so we can get them up there. But first, let's spread these guys out a little bit. Oh, they also have a prowler. This guy up here and shoot somebody. <laughs> I like it. All right, let me catch up with chat while you're doing this. Um, more or less, technically it's split in four parts, sometimes the 1800s, in some part time, four parts, sometime in the 1800s, excuse me. The French Canadians, who still the ones who are in the Plains provinces, the Acadians, and the Atlantic ones, the Matisse, in some parts of the Plains, in the Quebecois in Quebec. It may have been simpler to have New France for the early modern era. Mmm, I see. Very cool, I like it. Only the Portuguese made it in creative ways instead to have new Portugal. Hmm. And I as you can so see, now the first turn is over, the bonuses disappear. So right. now we're like, we're gonna do like Brave Sir Robin. And stand on a hill? And bravely run away, away. Yeah, we're just gonna use their units. I mean, th these units are making short work of the. the I mean, area. the Praetorian Guards are pretty dang good. Are you gonna split here. them up? Uh, no, I want the I like want that? the tactical superiority bonus. Oh. Ooh, yummy. So yeah, the AI actually helped us out here. Uh, we are playing on Blitz Speed Gamer. Time for me to go. Have a nice rest of the stream. See you around. See but you yeah, later. Dark yeah, that, Arrow. that was very lucky. Thanks for being here. That the independent people there actually allowed us to demonstrate the ambushes. Very cool. I liked it. And if you had a bunch of if I had like, prowlers, yeah, if you I had a bunch like, of, we could have probably done some serious damage. And as I say, this is where like really uh, a unit like the uh, where are they? Like the the Rotis Ken Raket is really gonna come into a, its own now Be because before it was like forty one. This is weaker than the Arquebusier. The only advantage is you can move and fire. But now it's like yes, if you stumble 49. into me, I'm forty nine power and. If we look at the well, and also if we look at the tech tree, I think forty nine is is stronger than the musketeers by four, uh, three. Excuse me. Um, the thing is, is like if you, so in a stealth battle, if you beat them in the first turn, you regain stealth and health, right? I don't remember if Are you regain. Are they healed? I no, you're definitely not healed. I don't remember if you regain the stealth. I I'm don't think sure so. I'm pretty sure you regain stealth. But but the, it's still, you know, you can definitely make good use of that, that big bonus. I'm pretty sure that if you successfully win the battle in the first round, that you regain stealth. Yeah, I, I don't remember for sure because I've been a while since I tested But still, the, the bonus is very strong, but also one of the very strong bonuses is also that the enemy can't get reinforced. Yeah. Because, no, I mean, you, you remember our issues in the scenario Not where it's 100%. like... 100%. You know, we couldn't oh, get yeah. into a fight without getting into a fight with every single one exactly. of their units. And if we had a, had a stealth army, they would have stumbled into us and was like, Oh, look. It's us six against you six. All of your 30 buddies over there can't help. Yeah, and you can actually take them out, like, one at a time. It definitely isn't, like... It's not going to work for, like, the whole arm, Like, every single one of their armies, because you have to, like... Either beat them all in one turn, ah, okay. or yes, here's a place you know. where we can demonstrate it. The Sovereign Company would be pretty neat to have, like the British East India Company, just as an example. See, yeah, here we can see it now, and now it's telling us, okay, actually minus two, minus two, and if we move in here, it'll actually tell us how the expectation of how many turns. That's of course assuming that this stays the same and they don't build Increase, new detection yeah. stuff, and. On the detection screen, we can see, you know, um, if we have over here, we have the, uh, well, no detection here. We have, oh, best army detection, but also, um, like, depending on what you build in your city, the watchtowers gives you detection, for example. Mm -hmm. And um, planes can give you detection. I think launching the observation satellites also gives you detection. So it's like a combination of the best army, the best planes and the best district in in the territory 
so you can get it reasonably high and then of course you know with the dlc you also have the spies and spy masters that can do some nefarious stuff yeah i think you can also have special things like satellites yeah i think the satellites contribute but it's like blanket everywhere because you know it's a fucking yeah. satellite uh let me catch up i appreciate you guys and your co-workers listening to all the time to players on what you can a always improve in this amazing game yes climate change effects in the game would be important uh yeah nathan i mean uh we on the community side are doing our best to get your feedback to the correct people um and you know people are working hard to to make the game better day day in day out you know Leaning Tower of Pisa would be a cool one to add as well. Leaning Tower of Pisa sounds like it'd be really cool to look at. You know? Another empire yep. has built the Colossus. Well, we'll have 10 minutes, so, you know, let's... Let's just... Should we cleanse it or should we assimilate this one? How many... We have two extras. Uh, but we, we don't really have space to expand this one. Uh, I mean, we can just take people out of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> There's always room to expand if you're violent oh, enough. Also, I'm just realizing... Wait. Each of... No? Who are they? There's some, some vassalage going on here. Yeah. But the, the crazy thing is like... Vassal of... Okay. Kiri's a vassal? That doesn't like, like, seem like, like her. But, but the thing is like... This empire? Is the vassal of this... Empire with like... They have a lot of armies. Well, maybe not a lot, but... Are they like the Aztecs or something? Yeah, they are the Aztecs. Ah, uh, that, that's how they won their war, I, I suppose. But here as well, like, this giant Venetian Empire... It's like the vassals of the Byzantines? But like, they're two territories? What's the AI been up to? I don't know. <laughs> I've been too many re reading I mean, I mean at, at least this is more sensible than what I, what I experienced... Uh, recently when I was trying Victoria 3, the new Paradox game, mm -hmm. I had a game... No, actually it was in... I think it might have been in Potato Make Whiskey's playthrough. Okay. The Communist East India Company. Think about that for a moment. No, no, I'm <laughs> like it's like it. the, the most remember. capitalist organization in the world at the time has suddenly become communist. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, mm, okay. Uh, let me see. Tokyo Tower and Mount Fuji. Isn't Mount Fuji already in the game, though, Raul? Oh no! I think I think we broke something. <laughs> Did we break it? <laughs> it, it? It's not letting me. Ah, now it actually took. Okay. <laughs> I had to click it three times for it to take. <laughs> it's all good. Hey, what's up, Green Dog? <laughs> How you doing? Uh, any infos on the console release? Not yet. We don't have any more info for yet, you sadly. since since we last spoke. Uh, here we can see actually this is you know kind of neutral territory, but because they moved their army there, they now have some detection here. Detection. So now our guy here is actually at risk of being found in five turns. So let's just get out of there. Oh, wow! This <laughs> yeah, when you have only seven stealth, it takes down real fast. The, the later stealth units obviously get a lot better. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense that the early stealth units wouldn't be as stealthy. They're just hiding bushes. They're not actually, like, camouflaged. <clears throat> yeah, but, yeah, I think we've, we've shown off some of the main features of the, of the update. We were really lucky that, you know, we got to show off the ambush and the AI decided to reinforce us. A double whammy of feature show off. Yeah, it was good. But, uh, it was very good. I, I'm, I mean, for the free update, the independent people stuff is really the one that, that excites me the most. Because this this whole thing... It's huge. It, it, it's huge for actually being able to play with this. And of course, you know, this has like a lot of potential for being like founding a city and then... Releasing it as an independent people so you can do like one city challenge, but like you can have all of these tributaries that send you signs and money because they're client states So I guess now the one territory challenge is actually viable by just doing like oh, yeah I have my one mega city in my one territory or maybe like two or three and then I have all these tiny states that just send me their money mm -hmm. Or I like I, or I guess if you release them, I guess technically you can 
Um, meet, meet Curry. It will be coming to console. We just had to delay the release. Um, and we just don't have a new date yet. There were just some uh, unforeseen challenges. Things that happened that we can't really talk about. Um, uh, but the console version was being oh, developed no. by a third-party developer. And so um, we currently just have to delay that uh, as... Things are getting figured out. Yes. So. Also, you know, just in time before we end the stream, I guess. Notice something here? This place used to be yellow. This used to be a client state of ours. Oh. But it has been frozen because somebody else invested enough that we fell below the 60% mark. Oh my goodness. So even if you have a client state, sometimes it might be time to say like, hey, actually, here's some bribes. Please stay obedient. Let, let's see if, if those bribes were enough to get them back over. Okay. <laughs> we have so many spies running around now. Heck yeah, yep. me, me Curry. We're hyped too. Good, we good. I can actually get a show of what I meant. But we when you fall below, it only freezes right. the 3D. And if you get back over the line, it automatically reactivates. Right, so people can kind of mess with you. Yep. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Let's end the stream here. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Every time I play Hearts of Iron 4 with non-historical AI, US gets communist, but with 70% fascist. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, that's definitely... That sounds like Paradox game experience. Well, I'll say I'm very happy with the new independent people mechanic. Definitely not... Uh, definitely what I'm most excited about from Metternich. I like it. Yeah, honestly, the, yeah, no, the, the independent people. I think that's that's a it's super cool. I think my favorite thing is still the stealth. I just want to make the, the stealth is definitely cool. And I, can, like, I can't wait to see what kind of crazy shenanigans our players do with it. I hope and Smithing Brett makes another video and it's about like only stealth units. Or and, something. And, and it's definitely, you know, much less less confusing because the changes aren't so sudden as in the previous one where you like somebody walked up to you and suddenly your unit is revealed. Yeah, it didn't and make it didn't it, make a lot of it sense. It didn't feel good before. So it's definitely a huge improvement, but like for a oh, I can try weird strategies with this. I think the independent people stuff has a lot of potential. Yeah, definitely. I like it. Well, thank you all very much for being here today. It's been fantastic having you. Thank you all very much for being an amazing uh community for for us here at Amplitude Studios. So, thank you very much uh for all the support. Thank you for pre-ordering the expansion. Um, or thank, thank you very much for getting the hype out there about the free update as well, as I really think it's going to improve a lot of things about uh, the game for people. So we'll be uh, back here next week on Tuesday um, for another stream. And then, well, on next Thursday, Thursday is the ninth. Next Thursday, right? No, it's Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Okay, so I, I, I think it's Wednesday. I, I'm pretty sure that because isn't Friday like a bank holiday in France, and that's why Friday releasing... might be a holiday, yeah. And that's why we're releasing on a Wednesday instead of the usual Thursday, something like that. Yes, I believe. So I was like, let me just pull up the calendar so that on my brain, yeah. my my stream brain is is getting things right. Okay, so um, yes, Wednesday the ninth is when the expansion and the free update launch. Okay. So we're going to be having a special stream on that day. So definitely stop by next Wednesday. Um, but we will also have our regularly scheduled stream Tuesday morning at 11 a.m. So anyways, we love you all. Thank you very much for being here. Have a fantastic rest of your day and weekend. And we will see you all very soon. Take care. Mm -hmm.